every African American person used to think they can make fun of Africans back in high school. That's a good question. I got the answers. Stay tuned. The reason why African Americans was making fun of Africans in high school is because, simple, we were lied to. America created this false silver lining for African Americans saying, we know we enslaved you. We know that's bad. But if we didn't enslave you, you'd be in Africa fighting diseases and eating each other. America led us to believe the more American you are, the better you are in life. And Africa, you want to stay way away from it. So let's keep it real and have this conversation in, right? He said we were lied to and told. The more American you are, the more better you are in life. And that's exactly what we was lost in the South scene. As a matter of fact, some would say we was indoctrinated by American exceptionalism. And as somebody with a master's degree in education, I'm going to start this by saying that American exceptionalism is embedded into the curriculum. Because a lot of us as African Americans will allow for this settler master paradigm to sit in our minds and we'll really buy into American exceptionalism. It's the idea that the United States is inherently different from the other nations being perceived both domestically and internationally as superior. He ended his video by saying, America led us to believe the more American we are, the better we are in life. And a lot of us play it out in terms of how we relate to folks in the African diaspora. And this one, I started getting into how insidious our enslavement was. This country literally taught us, we know we enslaved you, but look at your people over there where we saved you from. You better be lucky that you ain't living in a primitive state with famine and war, and you lucky that we enslaved you. As a matter of fact, some of us was taught that our enslavement was part of saving our souls and civilizing us. If you think about how American exceptionalism work, it's perceived as saying that because you are American, you are superior. Think about it. Back in the day, we ain't had the internet, you feel me? I'm from Texas, I know folks that's from New York and California, all of us was talking about African booty scratchers. Who taught us that? In the words of Malcolm X, who taught us to hate ourselves? But you can't hate the roots without hating the tree, right? I was trying to stay away from essentialism, but literally everything we've been taught in America about Africa is from the people that enslaved us. They not finna teach us the truth. We was really lied to. We was really lied to and we bought into the inferiority of our own people. We'll take this idea of American exceptionalism and we'll project it on to everybody in the diaspora, whether they in the Caribbean or whether they in Africa. When I say education is elevation, I'm talking about unlearning and relearning a lot of things we've been taught in this world. I begin this video by talking about education, the curriculum, how we are taught. Not only how we taught like math and science and history and how Europeans found and located everything, but also how the media teaches. Remember those Feed the Children Africa commercials? We was really led to believe that folks in Africa cannot survive without the presence of the Europeans. Don't that sound familiar? If I'm being real, a lot of what we've been taught in the African diaspora about each other came from the people that colonized us and enslaved us. We gotta think about that. Cause I also know a lot of y'all believe that African Americans are inherently lazy. Education is elevation. That's a very interesting video. I was very happy when I came by this on TikTok. So now we see these two African American brothers really giving the situation some flesh and, and it makes sense. I hope it clicks, it makes sense. This is a good thing that we now have the internet and we now have mediums like this where you know we can communicate it ourselves and people can you know share their stories. So now we're like, oh, you know, they were fed lies and they were made to feel like, oh, the farther away you are from Africa, the better for you. So African Americans are owning to the fact that yes, we used to do this, this is the reason. We're not going to forget the Africans. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. We're not going to forget us Africans, okay? This is not going to be a one-sided video pointing the fingers at African Americans only because we Africans, we get our own for body because we have African Americans also talking about the things that we have been doing to them. In the year 2020, my immediate younger sister recommended me the show Blackish and I started watching it. And in one of the first episodes in the first season, for those of us who have seen the show, you guys would know the episode I'm talking about. So in this episode, Andre wanted his parents to throw him a bar mitzvah and Dre, his father, didn't want to do that because he wanted um, to do something more traditional because, you know, the bar mitzvah is not something that's traditional um, to them being how they are African-Americans. Dre wanted an African-American rite of passage instead. So Dre put together the whole thing, dressed himself and his son in an African attire and he was going about, you know, wanting to do the African rite of passage. And someone else who was present at the event was Earl. The name is hard for me to pronounce. Earl is Dre's father, Andre's grandfather. And Earl made the comments and he said, why was, you know, Dre wanted to do this, Africans don't even like us. And me, an African watching the show, I was like, we don't? Because I was like, where, where was this coming from? So that was like the first time I heard in my entire life, I, I had never heard that before. And subsequently after that, it's like, you know, that was the open door to the 
for me to be seeing those kind of comments and hearing those you know that rhetoric phrased in different ways or the exact same meaning africans say the exact same things the caribbeans also and i'm like when did this happen what is going on what is happening we also as africans i think i strongly believe scratch the thinking i strongly believe that there is a lot of um, unlearning and relearning we have to do um, as regards to African American and um, brothers and sisters as well. Things like what this brother pointed out when he said that we believe that African Americans are inherently lazy. And this is something that I have seen some Africans say in comment sections and I've actually heard with my own ears one African say this to me very recently and i strongly think that they bought into that mindset when they went to america because that's not a general consensus here that you know africans are thinking that african americans are inherently lazy as i'm rather new to this african versus african american versus the caribbean stereotyping and clash that we have going on that we do need to stop i do not know all the stereotypes and name callings we have going on i have picked up on one or two and as a matter of fact i do not want to know more i do not care to know what I care about is us calling it squids. Let's stop, please. Let's raise our white flags. The name calling, the teasing, the insults, this insanity is insane. We need to stop. Africans and the whole African diaspora, please, let's make a truce. Not a truce that will last for just a little while, but a truce that will last forever. The truth of the matter is we don't have this time, we don't have the luxury of time to be wasting, tearing ourselves apart. If you are one of those people who like to talk about how well we are not the same, well if you like to you know, ride with that mentality, just go with that mentality and stop spreading it. All skin folks are not kin folks, we get it. Ride along with your mentality and stop recruiting people. How I see my people is very simple. One people with different cultures that doesn't make us different but actually is our spice that make us beautiful and more tasty. If you want to pick on and or bank on our differences, do you boo boo. But like I said, keep that energy to yourself and stop trying to convince and recruit people to have your mentality as well. We don't need that. So, in America, we are taught that Africa is a cursed land, is a filthy land that the Africans are cold, dirty, disgusting people. Poor, dirty, disgusting. That's what we're taught to do. And we're taught to believe, we're taught to know that Africans hate African Americans. Hmm. And we are taught African American men, black African American men are taught to hate black African men. And it is a very common thing. On my tours, we talk about this. I say, the African and the African American, we do not get along. And all of the black African Americans, we all know that's true in New York City, yeah. That's right. They don't like us. We don't like them. They call us horrible names, cotton pickers. They call us cotton pickers. And we call them African booty scratches. Horrible names. When you think about thought, when you think, which we don't, because we have a program to react and not to think. Because when you do think, who taught us? whatever it is that we believe we know because you don't know unless you can prove this who taught us who taught who taught the black people the white man the colonizers taught us that if you're in america you're better we're better than the africans No, 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 no. Is that, is that what you hear? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yes, exactly. We have exactly 100%. So me being from America, Charleston, South Carolina, I'm now in Africa. East Africa. East Africa. And in history, they don't talk about East Africa. They talk about the West Coast, where the 
great majority of the ships left from. Well, on the East Coast, ships left also coming right to Charleston, as well as South America, but this is America. So now that this so-called black African-American, all of those are code names, all of those are made up names. Black, African, American, all made up. But now that I'm here, <sighs> we're different <sighs> from the perception, perspective. I have never experienced such love. It's overwhelming. It's easier for me to I deal with that better. I've been made to deal with, with hate. I've been made to always be ready. Hmm. When I came here, no, 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 brother. It's not like that, Kona. Akuna Matata. Hmm. When I hear Akuna Matata, I don't even know that that's Wahili. We go back to Disney, a cartoon, when they sing a song. But this is the language of this land. Swahili. Everything is okay, but wow. sure. peace is I'm, I am from America, so I am unable to properly articulate this energy, this peace. I slept with lions last night. Lions. Walking around my tent. My brother, his name is Ramadan made sure I was safe. No guns. No guns. No drugs. No guns around here. No drugs around here. No. America is all about guns. It's all about drugs. It's very difficult to explain the peace, the love, the healing, the joy. It's very difficult. It's, it's more than overwhelming. Our brothers want us to come back. Want us. Please come back. Welcome home. Welcome back. And how how were people saying when you were passing through the streets? Oh, when I was passing through the streets. Mm -hmm. What did they tell you? Welcome back. Oh my God. Jumbo. Mm -hmm. huh? Asante. Welcome. Can I take a picture with you? Can I take a picture? Can I take a picture with you? Please. And, and, it's, it's so, it's so real. I mean, everyone is, is staring. And, 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 and where I'm from, if they're staring like that, it's a problem. You know, this wasn't a problem, but here, no, no, no problem. It's, it's, it's not like that everything is okay. It's so difficult to understand what they have done to us. Words cannot articulate this energy. You have to experience this energy. You must come and experience here in Africa, the black land for the black man. to return black home. Come back. Rebuild your motherland. Now we're going to talk about this. We're going to talk about this. Healing is for real. Paradise is for real. that time. Now is that time. Tanzania, East Africa, 